Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about decluttering your home office for the new year. I am pretty sure by now you guys know exactly who Marie Kondo is. She is the author of Tidying Up and Spark Joy, those two eponymous books that have been made into like a Netflix special. If you guys haven't heard of her, I mean, I'm pretty sure you have been living in a cave somewhere. But basically, the Calmery method is all about getting rid of things that no longer spark joy or if they don't inspire you in some way, you should declutter your life so that you're not carrying that burden with you. I am all about health and wellness when it comes to your home. My home office has been a place of complete productivity. I mean, I work from home, this is my studio, so not only do I need a clean and efficient space, I need it to inspire me on a daily basis. So I'll be taking you through my home office and it was an absolute mess to begin with. I'll show you my tips and tricks on how to organize each area and declutter your way into a new fantastic year. I try not to overwhelm myself, so we're really just gonna tackle the office wall by wall, space by space. We're gonna start with my brass bookshelves. You'll see that it's kind of a collection of everything. I have all of Kamari's baby gear here, you know, some of the things that I received from the baby shower. So these are really decorative items that I love to look at. They, number one, spark joy, and they really inspire me on a daily basis especially when my desk is facing the bookshelf. But clearly, you can see all of this crazy clutter. It's blocking the walkway, it's kind of like strewn all about. So what I wanna do is declutter and get rid of all the items that no longer serve me. And then what we'll be left with is a bright, beautiful space that inspires me every day. Before you start to declutter, I like to separate my items into three groups. One is for donation. Another is trash and another is recycle. So what area are you doing first? Um, I don't know. Oh my god, this is hard. It's hard, okay? A lot of these items are really sentimental. I mean, do I look at it every day? No, not really. So you really have to see if they absolutely spark joy, especially since it's living in my home office, which should be a place of like productivity, efficiency, and inspiration. You guys remember my belly past? Oh my gosh, I can't believe. Okay, we're getting distracted now, okay? We're totally getting distracted. You can hear the girls in the background. They're like, hello, get with it already. But I get it, guys. A lot of the times you don't declutter, it's because, you know, these things mean something to you. Does this spark joy? Totally. Do I need to look at it every day? I don't. So let's just store this somewhere else where it's not in complete sight. Here is a bunch of like loose nail polish. I mean, I get gel nails done now, so do I really need that? No. So we will donate this. A lot of these interior design books I still reference, but since they're hidden on like the bottom shelf of this bookcase, I think I'll just move it into my library instead. Oh, this is all my art supplies. Gosh, I was wondering where this went. <laughs> So it's really common for me to organize things like right out of their place. Sometimes I like go in this complete like feng shui declutter binge and then I'll organize everything and then I'll forget where I put it. It's a really good idea for you to either transfer these to like acrylic boxes or plastic boxes where you can see through to them or at least have you know a little label maker and then put a little tag on the side. After you discard all your items, make sure you clean all the shelves before you put it back.
we are moving on to Kamari's side and I typically keep it like really nicely styled and then all of a sudden it started building up. So there's not a lot to do here. We just want to make sure that everything looks tidy and it's not completely cluttered. Although I still reference a lot of these magazines, I kind of just want to move them out of the way so it doesn't look completely cluttered. One wall down and now we are at my workstation. This is my desk. The desktop should really only house things that you absolutely need in the space. The first step you have to do is decide what you want to keep and decide what you want to discard. Do I need a bag of pens? No, I don't, especially on my work desk. This is going to go into another area. We talked about fake flowers, okay? At one point, these flowers were really beautiful, but now they have this old yellow tint on it. It definitely does not spark joy. I can't believe I still have this here. So this is gonna get donated. My page a day calendars will stay, but we gotta clear the entire desk off so we can clean it and then place back the items I absolutely need. This is Christmas, oh, gift card. I forgot I had this. <laughs> okay, keep, keep, keep. This will come back throw trash store. Now that I've cleaned my entire desk, I need to decide what I want from the space. So I've come up with three key terms to keep me on track. Efficient, productive, and inspiring. So anything that I put back on the desk needs to be one of those three things. Let's start with efficient. and donezo. I mean, it just took probably about 15 minutes to declutter and I was really thoughtful on what I was gonna put back. I made sure that each piece helped me be a little bit more productive during my work day and at the very best, be very inspiring. So I saved the craziest, worst elevation for last. This wall has become kind of like a place where I store all of Kamari's items since I am transitioning this room into her nursery, but it's still currently my home office. It holds all of like my client folders and a lot of just kind of junk that I've thrown in all of the cabinets just because I have nowhere else to put it. So we'll start discarding each area one by one. I'll decide whether or not each item is efficient, productive, inspiring, and of course overall whether or not it sparks joy. Let's start with the first cubby. You'll see that I stay pretty organized with all of these shelves, but what I need to do is declutter. Remove the things that I don't need anymore, trash, donate, or recycle some of the items that don't serve me every day. So some of these, oh, these are, I don't know where this went. <laughs> this is empty, I'm gonna recycle this. Empty, empty, I mean, what am I doing with all of these empty binders? Nothing. So in less than five minutes, I was able to reorganize this entire shelf. I was able to organize it and declutter it, so these are items that I needed on a regular basis. I might not use it every day, but I have immediate access to it whenever I need it. So this leaves room for my purse and my camera that I use every day.
I was able to clear out all of these shelves with Kamari's baby items and I made room for them in my closet. Even though there are a lot of little baby items, I was able to clear it into my closet and now my shelves are completely decluttered. Oh my gosh, I feel better already. I mean, I look around my office and it's just clean, it's decluttered, it energizes me in a way where I'm gonna feel so much more productive in my work day tomorrow. I hope you guys got some really good tips on how to declutter your home office the KonMari way. Remember that if it doesn't serve a purpose, if you don't use it every day, or if it doesn't spark joy and inspire you, then you need to get rid of it out of sight, out of mind. If you guys got some great tips from this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any cool tips and tricks on how to organize your home office, and definitely subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.